Hello everybody and welcome back to Taylor's Border Cam Fan. So today I've got for you just a little video of uh, me and Dad putting on a 12 volt switchboard. Um, now pretty much this switchboard allows all of our 12 volt things to be isolated and switched off when we need them to be. So we attach the cabin lights to this. We attach our USB ports, which unfortunately I didn't film, but we have got U USB ports, me and Dad, on our beds. Um, but the trouble is sometimes I want to do a job, Dad wants to do a job, and we can't both do it at the same time because I need to film. So I couldn't film them. But I did, back in November, managed to film Dad pitting in this 12 volt switchboard. But it wasn't really enough to make a video out of until now because I'm going to incorporate it with um, also installing another radio. And this radio is not going to be obviously for the cabin, this is going to be for the living area inside. We've got a bit of radio, um, a Pioneer one, really good quality Pioneer one that we have from the boat that we never use because um, <clears throat> we ripped the um, speakers out of the boat and put them in the front cabin anyway. Um, but we've got two new really good speakers um, from my sister, Amy's boyfriend, who's given them to us <clears throat> and we're going to put them in, in the rear. So we can have our own little sound system in the rear of the van as well. And this did actually come with a internal antenna, which I'm going to be installing onto it as well, but not in this video. So we can listen to the radio. It's also a bit outdated, but it's got no Bluetooth. But it does have an aux in. Unfortunately, not many people's phones have aux anymore, <laughs> but our tablets do. So you can still play music off of that. Um, but yeah, this also the 12 volt switch is going to just yeah allow anything to be isolated, um, which is great because yeah it just helps things out. You know, if we've got a problem somewhere or something trips out, it's going to go onto that board. <coughs> anyway, let's get on with it. Oh, it's a it's a 12 volt fuse board. This is so you put your lights and your water pump and everything on your 12 foot uh, on your fuse board. So you can isolate things and there's fuses all at the back here you can get a trip version one of these like we got on olive so if something does go wrong fuse will go um and you can isolate things so if you're not in the van you can just turn it all off or if your pump's leaking or your water's leaking you can just isolate the pump and the lights and everything else 12 volt will stay on while you isolate one mains one one ring main what else is on it hmm? there's more on it oh yeah there's a usb on this one as well charge and things like emergency use uh, also a 12 volt if you want to use a pump or anything like that and it tells you on here roughly what your batteries state of charge is on your batteries as well and we've just done a little template because as you can see the plastic doesn't go f it sort of almost goes over this hole where you've got to screw it in so we made a little template it should be about right for this to screw into just put the side of our countertop in as well, so mm. this is the only place. Well, we can offer that up that now. We can put we it. know roughly where we want this now, mm. and we can mark round this and cut the holes. Yeah, it's the only place we could have put it. That's you know hollow. Do a bit of adjusting here and there. Yeah. yeah. It's in the first time, that's right. Ooh. One of the mainframe computers. Ground as we call it in a vehicle. Can you I need to identify. Can you take that out a minute? Brilliant these things, aren't they? Mm. Absolutely brilliant. No screw. <laughs> they are brilliant normally. No screwdriver involved. It's just me on a Monday, tired from work. Yeah, that's in. 
absolutely brilliant anti-vibration everything these things so we did all the lights up in there a bit we ain't got to worry about them coming out in the roof and they got to worry about little joining blocks or soldering or heat sinking or anything like that and that's our ground and our live and I'll put a little bit of tape around that just in case you know get any any worries and then put lights in say that one there maybe was it roughly the, the thing yeah I'll have to measure it and mark it out there. yeah so make sure I don't drill for any wires that's hanging down at the back in a minute Is it through? Yeah. Lucky that's right on the very edge of the uh, stud work that's behind it. So. Oh, that's lucky. Yeah. The wires, I just put no, there's something stuck on the stereo. I can't see what it is. Something here somewhere, stuck. Yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's that bit. That little stick up bit there. Mm. Put a bit of wood under there now to uh, hold it up. <laughs> God, get out the way more. We got the other way around, haven't you? I don't know, I can't see. Still loose. Just Hang on, I just got this one. There you go. Explain what you're doing. Do we have to? I'm fitting the stereo at the moment. The wiring's getting quite elaborate underneath here. I can't really get down far enough. Over my back and my neck. I've got a bad neck crack. Need a constant power there, don't we? I wonder if that orange is the constant. Once we set it up, I don't understand. It's constantly on now. No, it's not. No, there's a constant as well, which is the orange, I think. Got a little master control switch thingy here. This is. We just there have should the, be a uh, constant, so when you set the stereo up, it doesn't lose memory. Oh yeah. So we've got these Awa speakers from Robbie, Robbie Amy's boyfriend. We're going to put these in the lounge area. Yeah, but I'm looking for the cable that you found. Oh, I put it back. <laughs> just did this stuff. Oh, we just turned it to the, all the way to the left. Oh, we got can't hear anything. Now. So that's the right. Hold on, let me find the left. If we turn it right up to right. No, you won't be able to do it now. I've unplugged oh. it. I need you to do it left now, if I can hold it, that is. And then... Put the wire under there now. Pull it up into the corner like that, in a minute. Yeah. Annoyingly, the, the wire's broke. There you go. Imagine it should be like. stereo sounded like that. Yeah. That's because it's a pioneer. It's beautiful. Yeah, I know. Right, so we've decided to put it up there. I do find it a bit ugly because it's a bit out of place, but you know, it is what it is. There's no way to put it like cover us up that horrible corner there. But obviously, I can't screw it in, so what I'll do is I'll put a hook in. Speaker up now. I just 
friend the wire down the side of this, the wall. I don't know what, I think about putting like a quite a flexible bit of wood in there. Oh yeah. To go up. But see this stuff, which is flexible enough, is not thick enough to cover up the gap. Mm. Unless we pack it out, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Where do you want the other oh, table knife? <sighs> Just to press that cable underneath her, because it's blunt, you know? Don't want to damage the cable. Found a spot for the uh, other speaker down here underneath the bed. About the only place we could find. Nothing. We've got to run this wire all the way from there to, to here. Underneath here. <gasps> Alright, so that is us um, finished installing our 12 volt switchboard. Now, I can say it's coming very useful. We've got the radio attached to it, we've got the cabin lights, we've got the USB ports, and also we have the fridge attached to that when we get the fridge. Um, so it is very, very useful. Um, that radio is good as well because, um, <laughs> actually, I won't mention why it's good, but it is good. <coughs> it's nice to uh, listen to a bit of music in the back with some actually decent sounding speakers. Now, I say the speakers are the problem, the speakers aren't the problem in the cabin. Um, that cheap Chinese flip out screen thing that we got, it, it just doesn't give enough power out, so it's, um, yeah, it doesn't sound very good in the front, but. Maybe one day we will upgrade that one. Trouble is, if you want to get a decent uh, stereo with a screen, it's going to cost you a lot of money. But you can get a decent stereo without a screen, and it doesn't cost too much money. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll do that in the future. But for now, at least the audio is good in the rear. Um, so yeah, give this video a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one, because it will probably be our first trip. I can't guarantee that it will, but it, I think it might be. I gotta wait for the Narrowboat Channel vlogs to coincide, um, so it's chronological with with that trip. So anyway, see you soon.